Welcome to the 2019 MTA 98366 Networking Fundamentals Certification Prep Course. Perhaps the best place to begin is by answering this question. What is the 98366 Fundamentals of Networking Certification all about, as well as what are the benefits? Did you know that according to Microsoft, 86% of all managers state that an IT certification are important when they're considering candidates and 91% say that a certification is essential when they're going through the process of hiring. Per Microsoft, they state that 64% of managers thought that a certification had high value when it came to validating the skills of job candidates and that a certification, experience, and training was some of the most important characteristics that they looked at when they went about the process of selecting a candidate. Perhaps the best news of all that in a survey of nearly 700 IT professionals, 60% stated that getting a certification led them to securing a job. As a Microsoft technology associate, in fact, as within the networking fundamentals field, this particular certification is gonna supply you with the expertise, the knowledge needed for a specific technology, and specifically speaking about networking fundamentals. And it's a recommended starting point for anyone who's pursuing a career within the field of IT. Because essentially speaking, it's gonna provide you with a rock solid foundation. Imagine this, with just one exam, you're gonna earn a certification that would allow you to take your first step toward a career within the field of information technology. For those of you who are hoping to improve your employability, having a world's recognized certification could be the key to raising your profile or even your stock. So impress your future employers. Feel confident when you go to your next interview knowing that you have a certification and the skills that enable you to be successful within the field of information technology. So who are the targeted audience? First of all, if you, you're one of those individuals who desire to enhance your networking computer related skills, this class is for you. In addition, if you're looking to pass the MTA 98366 Networking Fundamentals exam, this exam is for you as well. So let's look at the exam prerequisite. So while there are no specific prerequisites for the Microsoft Technology Associate, again, in terms of looking at the Microsoft Networking Fundamentals 98366, it's required that you have a basic information technology knowledge. What are the skills to be measured? Now, for this exam is, is, is uh, concerned, it's gonna measure your ability to accomplish the technical skills listed here as follows. Understanding network infrastructure, understanding network hardware, likewise, understanding protocols and services. The higher the percentage, the more questions you'll likely see on that content area on the exam itself. What I'm gonna do during the course of this particular course, I'm gonna walk you through some questions, some topics pertaining to the MTA 98366 Networking Fundamental Certification. This course will be laying essentially the foundation for the entire course. For its exam specifics, uh, there will be approximately 30 to 50 questions on the exam. Since Microsoft does not publish this information, the number of questions may change without notice. For the type of questions you, may, you will see on the exam, you're gonna see probably multiple choice questions. For the passing score, you will need to achieve at least 70% on the exam in order to be able to pass the exam. The passing score does not mean that you must answer 70% of the items correctly in order to pass the exam. The actual percentage varies from exam to exam and may be more or less than 70%. There's no penalty for guessing. No points are deducted for incorrect answers. If a question specifies that you must choose multiple correct answers, you must choose the exact number of correct answers specified in the question in order to be awarded points for that item. Some of the questions on the exam obviously may, be, may, not, may not count toward the calculation of your score. Microsoft will oftentimes 
throw in a course that is meant to gather information that would help them improve the exam. Now, four is a time limit, which is very important. You're going to have about 50 minutes, again, to complete the exam. So what's next? So how do you, as a future IT professional, pass this exam? I have some, some, some insight for you. First of all, review the 2019 MTA 98367 Networking Fundamentals Certification Preparation Course Slides. Next thing you want to do, study material. Select the best response. Focus on the key concepts. So I have, at this point, I have a sample question for you. And the question is as follows. Again, this is kind of like a pre-assessment question for you. What is the most important central device used today to connect computers to a network? Is it A, a hub? Is it B, a switch? Or is it C, a small office, home office router? Or D, a VPN router? If you select it B, you're absolutely correct. A switch is considered a central connecting device. It's similar to a hub. However, hubs are antiquated. No longer, for the most part, no one's using hubs today. 